Hello and welcome to Select 10. In this video, we will count down the top 10 new science fiction web series that have been released in the last three months. In our previous video of 2022 sci-fi web series, we covered the top sci-fi series of 2022 so far, so consider this one a follow-up to that list. While the sci-fi shows on this list are all newly released, there are a couple others that weren't in the last list. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Grid. It is a sci-fi thriller series written by Lee Su Yian. The story takes place after a planet protection shield named Grid saves the Earth from an incoming geomagnetic storm capable of destroying entire civilizations. The point is that no one knows who built the Grid, which helped mankind in its hour of need. The main plot starts when a grid worker witnesses a killing, an investigator, Ying Se Biok, is sent to pursue the murderer. However, as they track the criminal, they come across a bizarre phenomenon that may be the founder of the grid, who has returned after 24 years and is assisting a serial killer in escaping. Later, the plot unfolds as the investigator and police officer try to locate this mysterious person in order to learn his true purpose and the reason he is assisting a murderer in escaping. The show had a strong start and a great concept, but in the final episodes it crumbles, explains little, and leaves you with many unanswered questions. But altogether, Grit is a good sci-fi drama that combines suspense and a fascinating concept that is both silly and interesting. And the show has a 6.4 rating on IMDb. Number 9. Outer Range. It is a sci-fi neo-western series starring Josh Brolin. The series is set on a large piece of land in Wyoming that is divided by a wire between competing landowners. The main plot revolves around the Royal Abbott family, who have lived on this ranch for centuries, but when Royal discovers a strange, unexplained black hole on the distant sweep of his property, he is unknowingly dragged into a mind-bending conspiracy that changes his life completely. Amidst this, Royal is battling to keep his estate from a rival family, the Tillersons, who try to take it over, and to make matters worse, a bizarre incident occurs, and an inquiry is started into the Abbott family. If you don't like slow-burning storylines, this series might not be for you, as the show did suffer from some pace problems. However, as a whole, Outer Range offers a fantastic mixture of drama, suspense, and intensity that is totally engaging and definitely worth watching. And the series has a 7.1 rating on IMDb and an 81% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. Obi-Wan Kenobi. It is a sci-fi action-adventure series directed by Deborah Chow. The series takes place after the events of the Revenge of the Sith movie, during which Order 66 decimated the Jedi organization, and Anakin Skywalker, an Obi-Wan student, transformed into the Sith Lord Darth Vader. Following this, a large number of Jedi were killed, and those that survived went into exile. The major plot revolves around Obi-Wan Kenobi, who is holding out on the desert planet, Tatooine, and keeping an eye on Anakin's son, Luke, until he receives a message to rescue Anakin's daughter, Leah, who has been abducted by the Imperial Empire's Jedi killers. Only a few fans of Star Wars are pleased with this, and to be completely honest, this one lags much behind The Mandalorian if we compare the two. Although you might like it if you just want to watch a cool sci-fi show and are not very interested in the Star Wars saga. And the series has a 7.1 rating on IMDb and a 63% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 7. Glitch. It is a sci-fi mystery thriller series written by Jin Han Sai. The story centers around Hong Jai Hyo, who has a lovely boyfriend and a supportive family, but unknown to many around her, she has held a truth that has made it impossible for her to live in peace and harmony. Her life spirals out of control after she regularly runs into an odd alien in busy places, and things became even crazier when one night her boyfriend mysteriously disappeared in a flash of ominous light. She starts to search for her partner in the belief that aliens have taken him, and with the help of a mysterious UFO group, she tries to learn the truth about a weird mystery. The most appealing aspect of this show is that you will witness something different than you would in a typical sci-fi series. While the show's plot has its flaws, it also offers great humor and uniqueness that keeps you entertained the entire time. And the series has a 6.1 rating on IMDb. Number 6. Yakima's S245. It is an apocalyptic sci-fi drama created by Jason George. The series takes place in the future, where daylight is killing off all humans, and the only method of survival is to stay out of the sun at all costs. The story follows Armon, a marine biologist on an underwater research trip with his crew, stationed inside a submarine. 
When the sunlight begins to kill everyone on the ground, the group becomes terrified, but they are saved by the arrival of a naval submarine called Yakimas, on which he and his crew go to survive. However, when the submarine's true goal is revealed, problems develop between the citizens and the submarine crew, and a marine biologist is forced to work out a method to survive with the team. In case you were unaware, it is a spin-off series set in the universe of Into the Night. While Yakimas doesn't quite have the same intensity and thrill as Into the Night, it is still a pretty solid action-packed post-apocalyptic adventure that is enjoyable to watch. And the show has a 6.1 rating on IMDb and a 61% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 5. Cyberpunk – Edgerunners. It is a cyberpunk animated series based on the game Cyberpunk 2077. The series is set in a dark future where mechanical implants are popular. While the main focus is on David Martinez, whose mother Gloria is barely able to earn enough to keep him going to school. However, following an unanticipated tragedy, David's life was completely affected, leading him to decide to implant dangerous cybernetic implants that give him incredible speed. However, the negative effects of his new skills become apparent when he joins Lucy, a talented mercenary who brings him to her team, helping them out on assignments while using his new skills without realizing the terrible consequences of their use. There are multiple references to the game for people who have played it, and even if you have not, there's still much to enjoy with the futuristic premise, outstanding graphics, and great action, and the show has an 7.4 rating on IMDb and a 96% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 4. Hot Skull. It is a dystopian sci-fi miniseries created by Merck Bakel. The series takes place in a dystopian world where the spread of a lethal disease known as the semantic virus has affected how people interact. The infected are referred to as jabberers and they talk nonsense, while people wear headsets as a response to avoid infection. Due to this virus, the government failed and the anti-epidemic group seized control and divided the affected areas in an attempt to control the infection. The main story follows Siavis, who discovers that he is apparently immune to the symptoms of jabbering. Due to the possibility that Siavis could hold the key to finding a cure, AEI forces want to bring him in, but on the other side, Siavis embarks on a search of his own, joining forces with a woman, Sewell, to look for an Osgur, who may be the only person who can put a stop to this outbreak. The series presents a totally new type of epidemic that has struck the planet, and we haven't seen anything like it before. It is not extraordinary, but it is unique and entertaining enough to watch. And the series has a 7.3 rating on IMDb and an 83% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. 1899. It is a sci-fi mystery drama series directed by Baron Boater. The series centers on a group of European immigrants who are going out on the massive ship Gerberos from London to New York City to start new livelihoods. The journey began without incident, and the ship was cruising in the intended direction when it unexpectedly came across a second migrant boat drifting aimlessly in the middle of the ocean. Surprisingly, it's the same ship that mysteriously vanished a few months ago. When the main ship captain and one of the female passengers, Mora, boarded the abandoned ship to investigate the matter, a complicated series of mysteries began that threatened to reveal the secrets of every passenger. If you enjoyed series like Dark and Lost, you will find this one to be immensely addictive, and its crazy story, strong drama, and deadly panic moments will have you scratching your head in amazement. And the series has a 7.6 rating on IMDb and a 74% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 2. The Peripheral. It is a sci-fi thriller series based on the 2014 book of the same name by William Gibson. The show is set in the near future and centers on Flynn Fisher, a young woman who leads a basic life and enjoys playing virtual reality games. However, one day she and her brother, a VR consultant for rich but new players, tested a new video game that exposed them to a stunning new reality that felt extremely authentic. But after her brother gets wounded, Fisher fulfills his management tasks for an online gaming reality before realizing that the job requires keeping an eye on people in a remote division of time and space. However, things take a turn when Fisher witnesses a man kill a lady in the game, which feels real, and she chooses to inquire, putting not only herself but also her family at risk. If you didn't know, this show was made by the same people who made the wildly creative Westworld series. This one too has a brilliant sci-fi plot and amazing action, but the story may occasionally turn you off. While it may not be for everyone, it is a must-see for sci-fi fans. 
and the show has a 7.9 rating on IMDb and an 87% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 1. Onder. It is a sci-fi spy adventure series set before the incidents of the Star Wars Rogue One movie and tells the story of Cash and Onder, a rebel soldier, throughout the course of the five years that led to the film's events. The story moves over multiple distinct worlds and sectors, with the emergence of the Empire and the formation of the rebel movement serving as the series' central focus. Meanwhile, Onder is now a fugitive after murdering Empire officers, while risk, treachery, and politics weighed around at every turn. What comes next is a great adventure that ultimately results in the merging of all the stories, leading to the Rogue One movie. Overall, Onder is a dark, complex saga, but if you're hoping for lots of spectacular fights and lightsaber showdowns right away, you may feel dissatisfied. While it does have a good amount of action, Onder is more of a slow burn spy thriller. And the show has an 8.4 rating on IMDb and an 85% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.